Energy Web Token EWT, is this a good long-term investment? Is this a coin that we should look at getting into in this bear market to make some good profits in the coming bull market? Energy Web is currently sitting on a 122 million market cap. It has a maximum supply of 100 million coins, a total supply currently at 48.6 million, a circulating supply meaning the coins are out there in the market in public hands, 30 million. So this information tells me there's about 18 million that's probably being locked up that will be released over time, and that would leave about another 50 million that would be generated over time. Our market data on coin market cap goes back to about March 2020, and that's about when I first remember hearing about this coin. I've been in and out of this uh, last bull market. I actually sold it early, and then it went all the way up to about 18, uh, even up to 20. $20 there. This token is currently sitting at $4.07. All-time high for this coin was April 17, 2021 when it went to $22.67. So from this point, if we can get back up to that all-time high, you're looking at basically a 5x on your investment. Not bad. A lot of coins tend to outperform their latest all-time high, so there is a potential to go up even further. So today we're taking a look at the charts on this Energy Web token and see if there's some good buying points where we might be able to get into the market if price drops and also so some targets that we can use over the next year or two when the bull market comes in and these targets will still be valid my name is Lane, your crypto road dog. And today we're talking about Energy Web Token. It's a project that I do like. I'm not in this project at the moment, but it is one that is on my radar. It's one that I would easily forget about, though. I get so booked up in all these other coins that I easily forget about Energy Web Token, and then I kick myself as it goes up. But it's not what I say. It's really up to what the charts say. And what the charts are saying is that we are close to breaking out of a very big pattern. Falling wedge, one of my most favorite patterns, which has a great success rate. Looking on our indicators on the weekly, we just got a green dot on market cipher. That's always a nice sign to have. Signs are pointing to the up direction on this. The VWAP's coming up. Money flow starting to trickle up, so it looks like we do have potential for some upward action on energy web token. But in the case that we do get a break, because we are in a bear market and we know how the prices have been going lately, there is a chance that we could pick it up as a lower price. And I've got this zone right here. Now this starts right here about $3.70 and down to about $3.41. That would be the first zone I would be looking at because if this is, in fact, a strong move, which it looks like it possibly is, price came up, we've retested this area, we flipped this area into support. This area right here should hold. So if we come down here, that's where we should actually bounce. On the chance that this does not hold, we'd be looking at these lower target areas here, $2.70, possibly even coming back down to this area where if it did, that would be a good sign also. We would be making what we call a double bottom pattern, which would lead to more upside. That area would be down here about $2.13. However, you know, I'm gonna say I don't see the possibility of it going down there yet. There would have to be a bad turn in the market to actually bring us down to those prices in my opinion. But do keep that in mind in case you are trying to accumulate some more energy web tokens because it looks like from about $3.70 down to around $2.13 will be the prime buying area to accumulate for this next bull market. So still here on the weekly, the monthly chart really doesn't give me much of anything to work with as far as indicators and things like that go. The monthly chart does look fine. The RSI was coming in at 40. Things look pretty kosher on the monthly and things are starting to look very well in the weekly. Now, there is an area right over here, about $5.95, owned up to about $7.55. That's where I'm expecting to see some resistance. So we may get a little range bound through here for a little while. That may be a possibility. If so, you could look at taking some profit here and maybe buying back lower. As a possibility you may be holding this and just keeping it in a wallet or you may be trying to trade a portion of it just to build up a bigger position you have lots of options that is one strategy that you could use using these two points if we find rejection probably one of the good things i will say is that the ichimoku cloud right here is getting very thick and when it does that it's like a magnet that will pull price action up into it then once we get out we'll start seeing a little green come in on this side and then it should be off to the races probably the biggest point that i want to talk about at the moment is this one right here at $10.76. That is a 618 Fibonacci retracement area, and that will be an area that we may very well get rejected. Now, that definitely would be an area that I would take some profit because more than likely there will be a bounce down there, and you can also pick it up cheaper as it comes back down. Now, this pattern, if we do break out of this, and that's what we're really looking for, and this will be weeks out, it'll break out and it may come up to any of these levels and get rejected. 
Now this one does have about a 65% chance to come back and retest this area. So don't get alarmed. It could just be another opportunity to get back into this to rebuild your position uh, with more tokens. So that's totally natural if that happens for it to come back to this area before going up to say this area about 10 or $11. During the time and after we struggle with this, there should come a point when it will break through this. And that's also a good point when you see a retest there to buy back in and expect for some more upside. The next target that we'd be looking at is a bigger Fibonacci target. And this 618 right here comes from this measurement. And that's of course at $16.31. I do expect it to find some rejection at this area, just as I did down here. And basically these price targets I've got lined out here, they're kind of like steps that we'll just kind of work our way up through. It may not be pretty and it may take a while to do it, but eventually we'll break up through these. Now I do have some higher targets that we can look at. There is a measured move. Now I've got two of them actually, and let me grab those. First one I've got is the Bukowski measure move is adjusted for this pattern and that does take us up to the 618 and that's why I'm saying that we got some confluence that this will more than likely be a strong rejection point good area to take profit a 1635 through there the standard measure move for this pattern takes us up to this area right here at $19.26 and additionally I also took a Fibonacci right here this high right here down to this low and that gives us a 1618 target that's a one-to-one -one move breaking out from where we are now this should be ultimately where where we should expect to go for. This should be where we're headed overall, $24.85. That's the grand prize I'm looking at. And who knows, there might be a chance that could be flipped to support. There might be higher targets beyond that. In a bear market, trying to find a good target, that's the one that we're shooting for right there. Thank you so much, Shahida, for requesting that I go over this coin. It is one that actually slipped my mind, and I'm so glad that you brought it back up because it is one that I truly like, and I know for a fact it is a good hold for long term because I was working on that in the last bull market. It performed very well. And just to let you guys know, I have posted this to Twitter. If you want a copy of this, just to have for reference in the future, these price targets should be good for quite a long time. Hope this information has been helpful for you. Again, my name is Lane, your Crypto Road Dog, just reminding you that you've got this baby you are in at the very best time. Stay strong, be positive, and I'll see you on the next one. Good afternoon, everyone. Captain Lane speaking and wishing you a safe travels to your crypto destination. For those of you traveling with mice, please securely position your cursor over the like button below and right click with your favorite finger. For those with touchscreen devices, we ask that you gently press the thumbs up near the bottom of your screen. Thank you for choosing Road Dog Crypto. Please trade wisely and enjoy the rest of your video. Is that you, Apple?